go ahead and sign in. You need a pen? <coughs> Mom says I'm so contagious. Skip the chaos and the germs. Log in to waitfromhome.com. See wait times at over 15 UMC clinics. And when it's time to come in, we'll call or text. Skip the wait. Waitfromhome.com. Welcome to the Texas Tech Post Game Report, brought to you by UMC Health Systems. I'm Don Williams from the Avalanche Journal, here with Nicholas Talbot. AJ Sports Editor, we're here at Jones Stadium after the Red Raiders have knocked off Texas El Paso today. 69 to 20, convincing win for the Red Raiders. It was a high scoring game in the first half, and then in the second half, Texas Tech really pulled away. What stood out to you today, Nick? Well, the thing that stood out to me is that Texas Tech really showed their killer instinct today. It was 17 to 14 after Aaron Jones broke a 91 yard touchdown run. That could have been deflating, and I think maybe even last year, Texas Tech would have folded a little bit and it would have made a close game like they did last year with that 30-26 win they had. This year, they really stepped on the gas, outscored them 52-6 down the stretch. Uh, big plays by Devin Lauderdale, Jakeem Grant, DeAndre Washington. Patrick Mahomes showed that he was still Patrick Mahomes and the ability to make the big plays. He missed some throws. Receivers still dropped a couple balls, but they were able to put this game away. And Last year, they weren't really able to do that, and last, and last week, they weren't able to do that in Sam Houston State, uh, even if they came up with a win. And that's what really stood out to me. And, of course, the defense was – much improved this week outside of a run or two and the receivers made big plays when they needed to as well yeah and uh you mentioned that i was kind of just noting here in the post game texas tech with five touchdowns today that were longer than 30 yards and those came from five different players you had devin lauderdale with one jakeem grant with one reginald davis justin stockton deandre washington breaks breaks the big run for 51 yards of course utep is not a prolific defensive team but still 69 points is good against uh, anyone i think and you kind of touched on it um the second half uh after the half texas tech gives up three or yeah three points and 163 to yards total offense i thought the key i thought the key was immediately after halftime red raiders uh on utep's end of the field the defense gets a fumble Recovery probably should have been a touchdown. Deshaun Johnson picks it up and Absolutely. runs it in. But uh, after a review, you know they blew the play dead. I think the guy was down by contact. After the review, they give Tech the ball at the 34, and then immediately Tech goes and scores a touchdown. That seemed to kind of take the fight out of uh, the Miners. And the combination of that and Aaron Jones being hurt. Jones was, you know, he's everything he's cracked up to be. The guy's played 23 college games, and he has 2,300 career yards rushing. We saw it in the first half where he breaks that 91 yard touchdown. Now in the second half, he's not out there, plus UTEP is playing different guys at quarterback. How much do you take from, and ask Cliff Kingsbury this, I'll ask you this, how much do you, how much can you really take from what the defense did in the second half when they weren't having to tackle number 29? Well, of course, Kingsbury negated that question, just said, it, you know, it doesn't matter one way or the other who's out there on the field, he was proud of his defense today. Uh, I take a lot from it because I think in the first quarter they showed pretty well too. Outside of that run, they had him bottled up to an extent. Uh, when he went out of the game, they had he had one run for nine, uh, <clears throat> that 91-yard run, but outside of that, they had 26 rushes for 78 yards when he left. So, you know, I think that's much improved from what we've seen in the past. Uh, can they stop Arkansas next week? I don't know. Uh, what do you think their chances are going forward? These next three games are going to be really tough. Though. Well, it's uh, and that's the thing. I mean, they re they really need to get one. Uh, that would certainly be a be a big confidence boost, and would uh, and it would kind of show uh, that show Tech has a little bit of legitimacy. You know, I, I was mentioning to Keenan Ward uh, after the game a little while ago. I said, you know, I'm kind of cynical, but you guys still haven't stopped Arkansas, so they have a lot to prove. You know, Alex Coll. Arkansas does not have – Arkansas last year had two 1,000-yard rushers and Alex Collins and Jonathan Williams. Williams got hurt early. He's out for the season. But you still got to tackle the guy who had 212 yards rushing against you. And, you know, that game was interesting last year because Arkansas just pounded and pounded and pounded. And uh, if I remember correctly, never had to punt in that game. Won it 49-28. to 28. That's right, they didn't. That was here in Jones Stadium. Now you got to go to the hills of Arkansas, difficult place to play. Uh, Tech has not been there since, if I remember right, 1990, I think, was the last time. It's going to be 25 years since we've been to, been to Fayetteville. So still a lot for the Red Raiders to prove. True. They do have the common opponent, though. Arkansas played UTEP last week, 148-13. Uh, Texas Tech won even bigger. Maybe that's a good sign. They won 69-20, of course. Uh, so maybe that's a good sign being able to, you know, 
beat a common opponent by worse than Arkansas was able to. Of course, completely different teams. Arkansas, of course, is going to keep it on the ground a lot, while the Red Raiders are going to be fancy and go through the air, even if they have DeAndre Washington done. Mm -hmm. One other positive, I guess, is uh, health-wise, it seemed like Texas State came out of this one pretty well today. And they, unless I'm forgetting somebody, I don't think any of your key players went down with any injury. The most significant thing that we saw on the field this afternoon was just Sean Johnson in the second half uh, went down. He was immediately swarmed by three or four trainers. Gets up pretty quickly, pops up, uh, limps off, and then a few minutes later over here, on the, they're, they're checking his right knee here on the trainer's table, but pretty quickly after that, he was up smiling and uh, actually jogging on the sideline. So it looks like he's gonna be okay. And then uh, he also got, uh, let's see, got Micah all the way back today. He, he came out the week before with a shoulder injury. He was back, played a lot. It looks like he's okay. Of course, Pete Robertson returned and made it. That's probably the biggest the thing. Yeah, that's probably the biggest thing. Pete Robertson was suspended for the season opener. He comes back. Uh, he comes back today, makes uh, quite a few plays. What do you think of how he looked? Well, Robertson looked as good as always. I mean, he's one of the lead defenders in the Big 12, and obviously the best defender on Texas Tech, and maybe even one of the better players on this team. Uh, without him, the defense is just a lot better. They need him going forward make those strides to get the sacks that they need. He puts pressure on the quarterback. And I, I think he looked every part of what he was last year. So again, Red Raiders knock off UTEP today, 69 to 20 at Jones AT&T Stadium. That's gonna wrap it up for the post game report brought to you by UMC Health Systems. But a ton of stuff this evening on redraiders.com and throughout the week, Nick and I both will be writing columns. A game story coming from Phil Torino. Krista Pirtle handling the UTEP locker room, and uh, of course, stuff daily throughout the week on redraiders.com and lubbockonline.com. So for uh, Nicholas Talbot, I'm Don Williams from the Avalanche Journal. Hope you enjoyed your Saturday, and uh, we'll see you again soon.